our approach to telling a story is actually our approach to um, embedding analytics inside consulting mandates. And we have a standard process for doing this, um, something we're taking globally, something that's actually been around for a long time, 14 years, uh, called CRISPDM, the Cross Industry Standard Process for Data Mining. And what CRISPDM talks to is six high level stages, the first of which is business understanding. So the days of doing analytics for analytics sake are long gone. You actually have to be providing actionable insights that are going to demonstrably pay for the cost and the effort of doing it. So because our process starts with enshrining an understanding of what's the problem, who are the stakeholders, what levers do we have to pull, there's no point in me giving you analytic insights that are not actionable because you can't change that thing anyway. Um, you know, what budget have you got for advertising, what channels have you got? And then only after you've nailed the business problem do you move to understanding the data you've got and then you get into, which is stage two, and stage three is the technical one of preparing the data, which is actually where the, the art and the science and the magic truly happens. Step four is modelling, which can include visualisation. Step five is evaluation, and step six is deploying that answer. But each of those other steps keep coming back to the business understanding. So your story is guided by um, the solid understanding you've made sure you've got as a starting point. Otherwise, what's your story tethered to? What's the basis of the story? Um, it's got to be the client's problem, their ability to solve it, and what it's ultimately worth to them. Well, survival of the fittest, right? The, the ones that aren't embracing it are going to be left behind because it only gives you something extra. In a more positive light, I reckon people have to recognise that they're data mining all the time anyway. Even as a creative person who's doing more whole brain thinking, you're actually using memory, you're using things you've seen, you're using patterns you've seen in nature, you're using echoes of current trends and old stuff. Um, an idea doesn't come from nowhere. It's always associated to some connections you've built in your brain. So we're all data mining all day, every day anyway. A CEO who makes a decision based on gut feel is data mining in his organic computer. Yeah, let's just augment that with data mining in digital computers.